Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have news from Pixel Logic, the makers of ZBrush. And Pixel Logic has actually released an update to ZBrush version 2019.1. And this update comes with a couple of features that you will probably, you know, use and some that you wouldn't really use depending on how you make use of your ZBrush. And so let's get right into the features. One of the main features which they actually demoed and they've talked about is a split mode probably more like a split screen so what happens here is that it gets to isolate the current you know sub tool and displays them separately so let's say you have multiple sub tools in your scene once you activate the split mode and grab or select one of these things you'll be able to you know split these things apart to me this is going to make a lot of sense especially most of the times where you have to you know create poly groups and hide certain parts because you just want to work on those parts it's going to make a lot of sense because at this point you can select just a certain uh sub tool and you can work just on that sub tool while referencing the other parts of your model and yes yeah, still speaking about referencing they went ahead to talk about how this is going to help the guys working with references or maybe you're practicing how to create certain anatomy with base meshes and all that it's going to help you a whole lot other features you're going to find in this new update is the gozi feature for both photoshop 2019 maya 2019 and also 3d studio max 2020 there is also support for fbx 2019 as well and still speaking about fbx now you can import 64 cameras into your zbrush and you'll be able to find them within the camera selection list that exists in the draw palette and this simply means that once you're working in a different app export as fbx you don't need to worry about you know repositioning these cameras you can bring them directly into zbrush finish your sculpt in zbrush and send these things out directly to keyshot to render a new group insertion mode has also been added to the smooth brush modifiers and now for something that's going to make you, you know, smile. There is now screensaver that exists in ZBrush. So after a predefined or, you know, a speculated time, let's say you're not working with ZBrush anymore. You just keep your pen and you, you know, take a tea, coffee break, something like that. There is going to be created images that will be coming out from ZBrush Central and you will be able to see them on your screen. As minimal as this feature is, yes, I think it's going to help inspire you, you know, and maybe give you some sense of imagination, especially when you get to look at other artists stuff. And, you know, when you're working on yours, you might get some inspiration from them. Some of the plugins that we know and love has also been updated in 2019.1. This is just to ensure stability. And this include Z color decimation master, image plane, FBX import and export, Z app link, you know, scale master, all those, all those nice stuff. Link is going to be in the description just in case you want to read about these things, you know, and get information for yourself. With a split screen coming over to ZBrush, who knows, maybe in the next update, we're going to get a quad menu so we can be able to, you know, walk front, left, right and center. Just the same way you work in every other DCC app. And funny enough, who knows, maybe in the coming update or coming release, ZBrush might actually have a proper light. When I talk about proper light, I actually mean things like area light, point light, all those kind of lights. If they have that, instead of playing with that bulb lighting thing directly in the ZBrush light, I think it's going to make a lot of sense. You know, you can now position these lights the way you want, design your entire lighting how you want. Then once you ship it over to Keyshot, all you know you want to do is just hit render. Tell me which of these things you're mostly excited about in the comment section. Do you make use of ZBrush? What versions do you make use of? What are the things that you use ZBrush for? Have you tried the FBX camera thingy that works? Have you also tried ZBrush 2019? Tell me about these things in the comment section. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button and also turn on notification. If you're new here, it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, review, tutorial Tuesday, free Friday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.